What's going on, y'all? I'm Amy Nicole. And Ashley E. And today on the show, we're going to be interviewing filmmaker Adrian Jackson about his film, Running for Film. What's up, guys? Yes, I am. <laughs> so, Running for Film is just a documentary about um, me running from the East Coast to the West Coast. And I had my friend Carlos go along with me. He drove a support vehicle and uh, filmed the whole thing. And so, now we have a documentary coming out. What were you trying to accomplish with the film? Like, what made you decide to just run? Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I run, but I, I don't like doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, just talking to a bunch of people. One, my friend, he told me about this guy in Canada who ran over 3,000 miles to raise awareness for something. I can't remember his name, but that um, had a big impact. And then my other friend was telling me, um, I was going to put together an event to invite investors. And she was just like, what's going to make them stop out of their day to come see me? So that just got me thinking. And then just frustration, because like, it's like you're running, you're running, you're running to the wall of success, you know, and then, you know, you got all these obstacles and then you get there and then there's a person at the top. All they have to do is just reach their hand out and pull you up, but they don't pull you up. So it's just frustration. So I was just me making noise in a sense. And you ran across 10 states. 10 states, yeah. Started from Fort Mill, South Carolina. <laughs> Fort Mill, South Carolina. To California. To California, yes. Straight across. Oh, that's um, crazy because like the most I've run is just six miles. So I just and you're just running like on the average what thirty miles a day? Yeah, twenty five to thirty miles a day. Um, woke up at like six AM in the morning and wouldn't stop until the sunset. And so I ran, I jogged, I walked, I crawled at one point. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all to get it done. What is like what's the response been from people? Like people like when you're running through different states, what were people saying to you? Um, so people back home, the most common word that I got from, or two words I got from this was, this is motivating and this is inspiring. You're inspiring me to want to, you know, go after my dream, keep going, et cetera, et cetera. And then people on the run like that we came in contact with, they were just all for it. Police officers, just people, they were buying us tires. They were giving us oil changes, giving us rooms to stay in and stuff like that. And that stuff was very, very crucial because- That's what I was wondering, like, how did you, how, where were you staying, like in each- In my in car. Each, in your car. Yeah, we were sleeping in my, cause you know, we only had so much money yeah. <laughs> at the same time. And I was just like, I need to get across. I was gonna do it regardless. So, so if Carlos didn't come, thank God he did. I was still gonna try to do it. And so, yeah, we slept in the car. I think out of the 90 days or 80 days, we probably had like 10 hotels. The rest was just um, in the car. And Carlos, he was a videographer? Yeah, so he drove, he was a videographer, and uh, he took pictures also in the motivator. Yeah, and I was gonna say, like, what kept you motivated? Because we have, what was your playlist? Well, I'm your playlist. <laughs> so <laughs> I. I I really didn't listen to music, surprisingly. I think on my phone, I had, like in my phone, I had one album and that was this artist, local artist named Mac Hickey. And so I was listening to him, but besides that, um, I couldn't listen to like Pandora or anything because I needed my data for my GPS oh, to yeah. make sure I was still going on the right way. So just me and my thoughts, <laughs> me and my thoughts. So you ran from, um, from running from South Carolina to California, like what was like the craziest thing you saw along the way? Uh, so there was a lot of homeless uh, in Oklahoma, in New Mexico, and in California. Um, I think the most, I'll give you a surprising encounter. Like, surprisingly, there wasn't really like any like racist people or anything like that. But there was one time. I know, yeah. <laughs> that's why it was a lot of Confederate flags or whatnot. But like one time, I think we went to this one small town, and Carlos told me like he was skateboarding at the gas station that we're gonna meet at, and then a car rode by, by and was like, 
N words don't lie, skateboard. <laughs> yeah, but that was the only time. Everybody. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but other than that, everybody was, you know, down for it and just helping us out. How did you, like, do you have a background in running? Because how did you train? For yeah, so all through middle school and high school, I ran track. And in high school, I did cross country, too. Okay. So that kind of got me ready. Um, and then preparing for it, I did CrossFit uh, and I ran. But even then, I still wasn't prepared. Neither one of us was prepared just for what was in store. I mean, that's a long run, though, to prepare for. <laughs> and even like the way you had to run through the heat, the rain. We experienced everything. Everything up until Texas was just like rain and cold. Like unbelievable cold. We had to sleep in a tent and it was just so cold. After that, we stayed in the car. Everything past Texas or Tex or Oklahoma, there was tornado winds. And then Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, it was 108 degrees weather. And then we made it to California. Ooh. And pretty much like the purpose of your documentary, you just like raising money for like your film company. Right? So the purpose of the documentary, the documentary alone, was I just wanted something competable in the market and this was just me. I felt like this, everything I do, I wanna take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I hate it had to be me running in the documentary, but this was just a nice topic for me because I care about running and it was just like, I'm tripling down on my strengths, combining my two loves just to take me to the next level. How did you be when you like got to the lab? You know, you finished. Like you was in California. <laughs> so, yeah, when I got there, I was just like, thank God I made it and I fell asleep. Uh, like, after that, I think we stayed about a week, probably those first two days. I was just. Come on, I'm not going to run back. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. We drove back. We definitely drove back. And we had a couple events out there. Shout out to Hamwood Shack, um, Healthy Burger Place, and shout out to A Runner Circle. They um, gave us some events. So where can people watch the film? So we have a private screening October 7th. Um, if I would love to see you guys out there, you guys also. Yeah. Um, if you can't make that, then you can go to my website, runningforfilm.com. And on there, you can order the DVD. We have t-shirts, socks, the energy drink that I was drinking along the way. Um, and you can see all the news coverage of the news stations, the radio stations that were interviewing us along the way and pictures. So where can people reach you, like social media? Social media, um, you can go to at runningforfilm.com uh, to see a lot of the pictures, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, my company name is Black Forest Films, um, and that's Black, B-L-A-C-K, Forest, F-O-R-E-S-T, and then Films, F-I-L-M-S, and then me, um, it's a dog. A dog, 803. A underscore D A W G G 803. Okay, well, thank you so much, Adrian. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank uh, you. Check out Running for Film. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Check it out. <laughs>